Hello people, as I promised, today we will put some paint on those nice dragon figures, Gennaro and Klaus. I will skip the assembly part and we will concentrate on a beginner friendly acrylic painting session. I followed uncle's night shift tutorial with glazes, let's see how it goes. So, our figures have been primed with Tamiya Surface Primer. And now is the time to use the airbrush for pre-shading or pre-lightening. Basically, we cover the entire surface with black paint and then spray the white color from above or in the direction from where the light is coming. The black cover will provide shadows. You should cover the whole surface properly. The light coat is a little trickier and needs some practice. The problem is that you don't know when to stop. I decided to stop here. So let's paint some skin. As you see I'm using a DIY wet palette and glazes will be the word of the day. I started with brown sand. You should thin it heavily with water. Let's do a test. This is still too strong. We need more water. The paint is so thin that I needed 4 coats to get this result. For a nice warm shadow I used Cavalry Brown. But this one was tinted with paint drying retarder from AK. This is the first time that I used it and I must say that it was money well spent. Let's see why. The retarder turns the color into a nice wash. It flows brilliantly, you have more time to control it and it makes the color more transparent when it dries. Basically, it resolves all the problems that I had with shadows. Flat flesh was added to the palette and I made a one-to-one -one mix with brown sand. Those highlights should be stronger than a glaze, so a little less water is needed, but still keep them thin. We should cover all the parts where there are no shadows and do it in multiple thin coats. Apply the paint, wait a second or two and then you can lightly rub the surface with a silicone brush. Trick that helps a lot. We are getting lighter. For this step, poor flat flash was used. The trick is to apply every lighter shade to smaller areas. The rest of the procedure is basically the same. The final highlight was basic skin tone. You should apply this color only to the most exposed areas. And here I usually exaggerate. So you should probably stop before that point. I tried final glazes for the first time and you should use them too. They give the final touch. The first one is flat red. Again, drying retarder was used. I applied it on the cheeks and over the lips. It gives some warm natural color to the face. The second one was Prussian blue. This is quite the opposite. Apply it in the deepest shadows under the neck. So now we can check our faces. I'm quite happy with them. Gennaro's hair was painted with black brown and for the blonde tone I mixed flat flesh with a deep yellow. Now let's move to those uniforms. I started with the shoes. The color was a mixture of brown and black. Again, the paint was used as a glaze in three layers. A word about applying glazes. It is highly tinted paint, so you apply it and the paint wants to act like a wash. You should not let it accumulate in the crevices. Just spread it around until the layer is even. If the first layer is not visible, you are probably on the right way. For the shadows I used black. It was prepared as a wash with drying retarder. I applied this color to all the crevices. At the end I used some brown color for the most exposed parts. For the wool socks I started with deck 10. As you see the dark undercoat is still visible. For the shadows I darkened the base color with the brown and a speck of black. This color was applied to the recesses. For the highlights I added white. 
here I just picked up the exposed areas. The German uniform color was used for Klaus's pants. Here you can see how it looks after the first glaze layer is applied. We will do a second one. Black was added to the base for the shadows. Those were applied as a wash. My favorite color for highlights is sunny skin tone. I picked up the top parts of the folds. For the black jacket the base color was a mix of dark grey and old wood. Again a glaze was applied in two coats. For the shadows I used black as a wash with paint drying retardant. I added more old wood to the base mix and did some highlights. For Gennaro's green Italian uniform I mixed a grey green color. Just be sure to mix it enough for all the steps. As you see I mixed it outside and then transferred it to the wet palette. Again here you can see one coat on the pants. Now we will start with the jacket. Now we can see the glazing process better. Apply the color and spread it around until it's even. And also look at this, the highlights and shadows are appearing by themselves because of the pre-shading. Nice. Now let's take a closer look to the shadow color. I took two parts of a base color and added a part of black. As a noob painter, as I am, don't be afraid to exaggerate contrast. You will refine the mixes later when you have more experience. And another tip from me. For start, just try to get the shadow color into all the folds and crevices. It is not the right way to go, but it is an easy way to get decent results for beginners. With the highlights it's the same story. Sunny skin tone is used instead of black. This color works with almost everything. The great thing about pre-shading is that it creates a kind of map for shadows and highlights. Now you just have to follow it. Pick up the upper parts of the folds and crevices. Apply the paint, wait a second or two and... Ah, I already told you this. I didn't film the gear and details painting because of two reasons. First, I need a better camera and I need to learn how to film those things. And second, I can't do them properly and I struggle with them even without filming. So maybe in the future. Let me know in the comments if you are even interested in this kind of content from me. Ok, enough talking, let's see the results. What can I say? Well, it's not bad for free working days, but I must still improve a lot. At least they are 10 times better than my previous attempt. I hope that you, as a beginner painter like I am, find this tutorial somehow useful. I will invite you to subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends. Feel free to write anything in the comments. In the next episode we will finish and reveal the current diorama. In the meantime, stay cool and stay tuned. Bye!